Master of the Air, the noted radio reporter John Mallow has read a cable from Cairo sent by Colonel Robert R. McCormick, distinguished editor and publisher of the Chicago Tribune, who is on an historic three-continent fact-finding flight. Free copies of this cabled address may be obtained by writing to the Mutual Broadcasting System, Chicago 11, Illinois. Now the curtain rises on tonight's Chicago Theater of the Air production of Ipagliacci, starring Nancy Carr, Richard Tucker, John Tyres, Paul Tryon, and Earl Wilkins, conducted by Henry Weber. Ipagliacci. <laughs> Behold, a strange figure steps through the closed curtains before us. He approaches the footlights and bows. This quaint character is the prologue to our play. My friends, my friends, dear ladies and gentlemen, you'll bear with me if I come here. To bring to life again the old conventions, and therefore I stand before you. Not with the words they used to say. Do not be afraid if we sigh and suffer, if we weep for you, it is merely a play. Do not alarm yourself. No, no, the author prefers his play to portray for you life as all of us know it. Surely the artist should be above all a man. All that he writes is for man's understanding. He writes with the truth in him. A dream of old remembrance sang in his inmost soul early one morning. He wrote every While his heart beat the tempo of that surging song. Therefore, the wheel appears as human love that we see all around us, and a hate will be shown with its sad fulfillment. Sorrow's
see how he has portrayed it. Come now, bring up the Mark well the words of our prologue. Even actors are men with the burning passions of men. The truth of this we shall see. Yes, we shall see. The curtain rises. Behold, the entrance to a little Italian village at the junction of two roads. Here a crude stage has been erected. Tony the Clown stands on guard before it. This is a holiday, the feast of the Assumption, and gaily dressed villagers are gathering before the stage, gathering to greet the strolling players, the Pagliacci. Even now, the little troop approaches down the road. Look! They're coming! The Pagliacci! Procession marches into the village. Dressed as Harlequin, the actor Beppe leads a little donkey and brightly painted cart. In the cart lies the beautiful Neda, wife of Camillo, who walks behind the cart dressed in the costume of Pagliaccio, complete with trumpet and drumsticks. The procession halts before the little stage. your humble leader of these strolling players, thank you, one and all, in behalf of all of us. I thank you. My lovely wife, Neda, thanks you. Tonio the Clown thanks you, and... <coughs> my friend, the donkey, thanks you. <laughs> This evening, my friends, at 11 of the clock, these illustrious players will present for your enjoyment the famous play, Harlequin and Columbina. Come on, come on! A splendid performance, I say, will be given. Prepare by your servant for your enjoyment. Rafa will be represented. What vengeance it took, and the trap he invented. The virtuous wife is pursued by her lover with a jealous old husband, the flat he'll
Carneo. To be able to handle the crowd so successfully is a rare gift. A natural gift, my dear Netta. After all, I am an actor. Madonna, please. I will help you down from the cart. Here. Yeah. Wait, Tonio. Huh? When my own wife requires assistance, I reserve that pleasure. But I will help her. Please, Madonna, take my hand. Tonio, Get I... back, Tonio. Ah! That will teach you to stay away from my wife. I was only trying to help, Carnio. I saw no harm in trying to help. Carnio, are you even jealous of poor Tonio? Don't you think I read the message in his eyes? Tonio hopes to woo you away from me. Carnio, how absurd. Mm. Such a game as that might be all right in our play. Up on that stage, I, Spagliaccio, off discover my fair Colombina in the arms of another. There I accost her and take a jolly beating, and the crowd applauds. But if such were to really happen, you'd soon find that the stage and life are different altogether. Much different. Off with you to the church, Nedda. I'll find my pleasure at the tavern. Heaven, my husband Kanyo has gone. His eyes flaming with fire at the thought that perhaps I had a lover. I dared not look at him, fearful that he might read there what I was secretly thinking, jealous monster that he is. If he were to find out that I. Oh, no. A foolish nightmare. Let the bright skies above dissipate my horror dream.
Madonna. What? Oh, Tonio. Tonio, this has gone far enough. I can tolerate your foolish attentions no longer. But I am your slave, Madonna. I offer you my heart. Get back, you clownish monster. I shall call for help. Not until I've kissed you. Not until I... Get away from that cart. Put down that whip. This is your answer. This whip shall be your kiss. Across your ugly face. <laughs> By the blessed virgin of the Assumption, I swear you'll pay me for this. Mark well my words. My revenge will come. you alone. Silvio. Oh, Silvio, you shouldn't have followed me here. If Canio should discover us in this garden... Don't I... worry about Canio. I just left your husband at the tavern with Pepe. He had no intention of leaving for some time yet. Oh, Silvio, how long can we go on this way? How long can we hope to deceive Canio and ourselves? Each time you and the players come to the village, I love you more desperately. This time, I cannot let you leave again without me. If I only knew what to tell you, Silvio. If Ned, I... uh, Ned, my darling, please leave with me. We'll hide away together and no one will ever find Silvio, us. Silvio, the danger is too great. Please, Ned. I dared believe such stolen love is more than a flame that will quickly die. Can you deny your trembling in my arms? Can I deny your lips on mine bring the thrill of a thousand sunsets? No, my darling, we can't deny it. We're slaves to a power beyond resistance. Can you deny me all I have prayed for? Cannot your heart persuade you to stay? is the all that kisses were made for. Would you regret it and turn away? Have you forgotten all that we dreamed of? Mine is a dream that will never depart. Love me forever.
After the play tonight, I'll ask your entire troop to my house for refreshments. No one will suspect our plan. Sylvia, are you sure? I'll have a coach waiting for you during the excitement after the play. We'll be far away before anyone realizes that we're gone. It will be too late to trace us then. My life has been as false as the tinsel and sham of our little plays. Carneo's jealousy, my constant fear. Oh, Silvio, you must go. Hurry before Connie returns. At the theater. Tonight, then. At the theater. Tonight. Farewell, my darling. Until tonight. <laughs> here, Canio. <laughs> Until tonight, uh, Madonna. Antonio, you here too? Your faithful servant, the ugly clown, Madonna. I don't understand. You understand well enough. I heard his voice and I demand his name. Antonio, you're hurting me. <laughs> yes, he's hurting you. It is quite unpleasant to be hurt, so. His name or my knife will carve it from your heart. No, no, Canio. There was no one here. I swear it. It's your insane jealousy. I can stand it no longer. This knife will steal your lying tongue. Connie, I'll wait. The villagers are returning from the church. It's almost time for the play. Oh, the play. Yes, the play. Go to your room, Edda. Get ready for your role. The role of Columbina, the faithless. Jesus, Connie, oh, you must control your jealousy. Until after the play is me. Tonight, after the play, those were the words I heard him say. Antonio, if I thought you lied to me about her lover, it I... It is she who lied to you, Canio. You shall see. Tonight, after you have played your part, she will play hers. When my heart is overcome with madness, not knowing what I'm saying, Oh, what I'm doing. Yet must I force myself to carry on. To face the crowds across the stage. To be a great Pagliaccio!
with jealousy over Netta's clandestine affairs, Conio must nevertheless cast aside his personal feelings and carry on with the play about to be presented for the townspeople. The curtain is about to rise. Antonio the Clown ushers the audience into the theater.
footlights, Canio. Time for the opening curtain. Yes, Tonio. Almost time. <laughs> Hush falls over the little theater. The play is about to commence. Look at the eyes of Silvio seated in the audience. Restlessly, eagerly, he awaits sight of his beloved Ned. Ah, the curtain rises, and Ned faces the footlights. Nedes Columbina looks through the window. Yes, it is he. In the absence of her husband, Pagliaccio, her lover, Harlequin, stands without. Harlequin, played by Beppe, pouring his heart into a wistful serenade. Oh, Columbine, you're afraid for Harlequin is near. Oh, so little. Can this be the lover Harlequin boldly entering? But no, Columbina has not yet given the signal. It is another. It is Tonio in the role of Tadeo the comic. Craftily he watches Columbina and reveals his inmost emotions to the audience. A husband will not be there now. I don't hide there now. All by ourselves here. And not a soul will know it. Come on, we'll try it. Oh, is that you, stupid? Uh. <laughs> yes, it is I, stupid. <laughs> My columbina, since first I found thee, chased as the driven snowflake, Chase as the... yes, you will be right now. Huh? Harlequin! <laughs> yes, Harlequin has now entered Columbina's chambers and interrupts Tadeo's lovemaking. What's this? Neda, you and Harlequin in love? Did you ask that, Tadeo? Surely you can read it in our eyes. Come, Harlequin, shall we dine? Dine? Oh, what of me? I, too, am hungry. <laughs> case, my dear Columbina, I surrender my claims to your heart. Very gracious of you, Tadeo. Gracious, indeed. I take my leave. 
bless you, my children. Now, Harlequin conspires with Columbina. He gives her a little sleeping vial to be given to her husband, Pagliaccio, at bedtime. Harlequin, dare I do such a thing? Harlequin insists, for our love, Columbina, when Pagliaccio is sound asleep, I'll be waiting for you. Harlequin, Columbina, he is here. What? Your husband, Pagliaccio, is here. <gasps> Pagliaccio! He's trembling all over. He seeks for weapons. I must take cover into the closet. In great fear, Harlequin rushes to the window. Harlequin, wait. Do not leave me now. Farewell, Columbina. Until tonight. <laughs> so, Neda. Ah, my husband, Pagliaccio. You are home early, are you not? The very words. Until tonight, he said. Where is he? Who is he? Connie, oh, your lines. Oh, oh. My husband. Have you forgotten yourself? I am your wife, Columbina. You are my loyal Pagliaccio. Pagliaccio, Anna. My face is white and true. But from this sun, from rage and indignation. the lines of the play, I beseech you. His name, or my knife in your heart. You'll never learn his name from my lips, never. Then, my faithless Nedda, you die, damn you, die. Help me, Silvio, help me. Ah, the truth at last. It was you, Silvio, her lover. Honey, oh, wait. Let me explain. Before God, Silvio, you must die, too. Honey, oh, uh, oh, oh. This is no play. They're dead. Mother and Silvio are dead. Revenge! Revenge of an ugly clown! Ah! Come 